Hey Pokedad fan club, it's Pokedad and we are um, doing a tournament Thursday um, taking out uh, Giratina Seismitoad out for a spin to see how well we can do in the tournament looks like we're gonna go ahead and get started and we got fire dragon water okay looks like we got the advantage so we'll see Maybe we got some mirror match though with dragon and water being both in here. And it looks like we start off with a mulligan. Alright, and hmm. Alright, we'll start with Toad. Toad is usually our best starter. And I'll go ahead and bench the Giratina too. got some interesting plays here I don't prefer the birch but uh, we have a team flare grunt so that could be that could come in handy right off the bat that we don't have any energy in play uh, we'll go ahead and bench the Giratina and let's see they're playing some kind of fire deck fire was definitely in this so let's see what revealed Charizard and Blastoise okay lucky helmet All right, so they will be able to blacksmith. Matter of fact, this Charizard could potentially get set up in one turn, but hmm, nothing. Okay. Well, hmm. Let's go ahead and play the Hoopa down, and uh, I think we'll grab a Toad, a Shaman. Mm, I think that's it. One of our toads is prized. Right, we'll play the toad down. We're going to go ahead and play the stadium. And I'm going to play a little risky here. I'm going to go ahead and team flare grunt the energy off. And then shaman for three. And okay. So there's round one right there. We won. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to pause the video. I apologize that round one went so fast, but sometimes people seeing Toad just scares them. And so uh, anyway, I'll pause it and we'll get started with round two in a moment. All right, we are back. We got about 10 seconds left before we start the next round. So hopefully this match will be a little more entertaining for you than that uh, first match that we had Um but sometimes just the sheer uh, intimidation of Seismitoad can get someone to concede or scoop right away. It looks like we got the advantage of taking on a Fighting Water and Colorless deck. Colorless might be Shaman. Um, fighting Water, I'm not really sure what that could be. Um, I don't see that combination too much. Um, hmm. So anyway, I'm not really sure. But I guess we'll find out. I guess our opponent's going to decide if he goes first or second. Um, I mean, I guess it could be some kind of toad variant. Maybe even an odd thing like maybe Lucario and toad. I don't know that I've seen odder things than that before. Uh, or it could be something else altogether. All right, and the opponent is inactive and will lose due to inactive activity in the game in eight seconds. Oh my goodness, guys, this is going to be one of the quickest tournaments we've ever done. And we won that round. Wow. I'm telling you, people are scared of Toe to Giratina. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pause the video, and uh, anyway, we'll... All right, so after the first two intimidation of rounds, we're now starting the final round um, of this tournament using Seismitoad Giratina. So let's actually see if uh, we can get a match going with our opponent. All right, he does have Fairy, so that could be uh, troubling for us, especially with Giratina. Uh, so we'll see what he's got going on. It looks like we're going to mulligan on our first one. 
Well, we start Giratina, and we do have two energies in play. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see. He starts Zemius. That's not good for us. Because a Rainbow Spear can knock us out. He does Tierno here. Plays. This might like be a Vespaquin variant. Hmm. Alright. Would really love to be able to, but if he puts a fairy energy on Xerneas, be able to knock it off. Alright, it's a cottony. Wow. It's a Whimsicott variant. Alright, what else is in here? This is quite interesting. Is he playing Waylord? He gets the energy. Alright, we do top deck the um, Ultra Ball, which is good. So we're going to play Double Dragon. Go ahead and play the Muscle Band here. I'm going to go ahead and try to knock the energy off, and we do succeed. That's good. Alright, we're going to just Hoopa here. Get Hoopa if he's in the here. If he's not, we'll grab a Shaman. He is here. So I feel like Toad is probably going to help us. I really wish we could have started Toad, uh, but that's okay. We'll play Hoopa here, and we're going to grab Toad, Toad, and Shaman. All right, and we'll um, Toad, Toad, and then we'll Shaman for five here. Right, we get another Shaman, and we do get... A few other things. Matter of fact, we could even let's see. We got the Lysander. Do we want to Lysander up that Whimsicott, or do we want to focus on the Dernius? Um, hmm. I think in turn here. All right, they start on the Muscle Band. That's not a big deal. Sycamore here. And I can't see the discard pile. Hmm. Right, he plays the energy down. Is he just going to geomancy to the cottony? Oh, wow. Okay, where did he get all that? Man, this... Something's... Messed up with the system. Alright, he can't Rainbow Spear me, so I'm going to play Double Dragon on Giratina. Um, I guess I'm just going to Birch here. I don't like the idea of Birching here, but I'm going to. We do get the haste, though. That's good. All right, we'll go ahead and play the stadium, because then we won't be able to change the stadium. We'll play the muscle band, and I'm just going to hold the scoop up for right now. Well, Chaos will here for 120. Now, he won't have, I mean, unless he somehow gets a spritzy with a Wally, he won't be able to use Xerneas' attack on me. And he can't get to a fairy garden, so that's a good thing. So he would literally have to um, retreat manually and use Whimsicott's attack. Okay, and that looks like what he's going to do. But since it's just damage counters, he can't really hurt me um, as far as like double damage from the whole thing. Uh, let's see here. But he wasted two energies doing that. He'll only have one energy left. Mm. Let's go ahead and play the other Giratina down. This one is kind of tricky. How should we do this? Um, I feel like, let's see, this thing could do 60 damage, which could take a knockout on us. 
Um, I wonder if we want to take out the... All right, let's go ahead and play the double dragon. We're going to super scoop up, see if we get the shaman. We'll do that again. Okay, both of them failed, so we're going to go with uh, birch again. And we'll birch, see what we get. We do get a heads again, so we got seven. Uh, we'll play a muscle band on toad. And at this point, I'm just going to take the chaos wheel and take a knockout on the wizard we do get red card. I don't know if that really helps us much. Who is he going to promote, though, is the question. He pro promotes the Xerneas, so he's probably going to try to get another Geomancy off this turn. And then he's going to try to use the... Uh, okay, Tierno's here. He's got five. Uh, he does get the Vespaquin. Okay. Now that could be troubling for us. Sacred Ash. Okay, good. That actually makes the Vespaquin's attack a lot less now. So they do charge up the Vespaquin. Okay. Um, all right, we'll play Energy down on the Toad. Um, let's get rid of the Stadium and the Enhanced Hammer because I don't think we're going to need it. And we'll just pass on that. And then I'm going to AZ the Shaman here to see if we can draw into some more cards. I really would like some energy denial cards, uh, but it doesn't look like we got it. Mm. All right. Well, we're going to Chaos Wheel again here. And, uh, you know, he's used a lot of energy already. So, I mean, he could theoretically retreat and use Whimsicott to knock me out again, to knock out the Giratina. All right. He plays Ace Trainer. That doesn't hurt us. Right, the enhanced hammers another energy off. He really likes this Whimsicott line, doesn't he? All right. Um, hmm. How many? How many does he have in the discard pile? Again, I can't see his discard pile, uh, which is quite troubling. Um, all right. I feel like though the best course of action is going to be to try to knock out this. Vespa Queen here. So I'm going to go ahead and Lysander up the Vespa Queen and take a knockout on that. Um, I wish I could see his um, deck right, in, you know, his discard pile. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but anyway, he probably will he'll probably promote the Whimsicott. Um, and then probably knock us out from the Xerneas stuff. Okay, he's going to play Ace Trainer again. Okay, that's not terrible. We do have one Energy Denial. I would really like to run into some more of the Energy Denial stuff, though. Okay, and he gets a couple more cards. Florgis, we haven't even seen yet. All right, we're going to promote Toad here. Uh, we're going to play Crushing Hammers, and that fails. Crushing Hammer again, that one hits, and we're going to knock off the one on the Xerneas. Uh, we're going to play this Super Scoop Up, and it hits. That's very nice. Play the Shaman back down, and we'll draw into some more cards. All right, we've got a Zero Sick, but that's not going to help us. Um, I'm thinking... Could take a knockout on the Combi? Should we take a knockout on the Combi is the question. I don't have much energy on the board. I feel like that could be a good thing. So yes, let's take a knockout 
on the comb B and we'll item lock them right now. Now, unfortunately, we still haven't drawn into much energy denial, uh, but they really, uh, I, I, again, I can't see their discard pile, but they use two to retreat. I know I've knocked out um, a Vespaquin that had two, so that's four. They've, um, I've knocked one off this Xerneas, so that's five. I knocked out a Whimsicott that had one on it, that's six, seven. Now, I don't know how many of their playing. Fairies usually play about 12, so that means they probably still have uh, a good two, probably a good four or five, but I just can't imagine them having too much more. And right now he's, why is my timer going? This is really crazy. There's bugs right now in the um, game. <sighs> My timer is going and I don't even know why. I don't even know what he has done. I took a knockout on the combi, so... Uh, hmm. It's been going for over 30 seconds. Oh, there we go. Now it's... Okay, they promoted the Xerneas. Okay, but they didn't put any energy down. Okay. Um, man, there's a lot of good stuff to... I'm going to keep... Actually, I'm going to hold my hand because the Team Flare Grunt's in here. And I'm actually just going to Quaking Punch, hit for 50, and then uh, keep item locking. All right, they're going to zero sick the energy off. Man, how many zero six has he played? All right. Um, well, so that brings us to another whole ball game. So now we're going to just sycamore. We'll go ahead and play that on the floor. Just we're going to play the red card, bring them down to four. We'll play the crushing hammer. And, man, <laughs> I think we're going to have to end turn. We didn't draw into any energies. I know he's 0 sick three of our energies off. Um, but I know I feel like we had at least two more double colorless. So I'm not sure where they're at. I hope they're, if they're prized, we could be in trouble. One thing I can do, though, is I can Cassius the um, Shaman back in, then Ultra Ball for it, and grab six more cards, but we're going to be getting very close to decking out then. And I don't know if he's having the same problem I am, where uh, if it's stalling on him, because he hasn't made, done anything in the last few minutes, He's not item locked anymore, so uh, he should be pretty good. Um, but he may be having the same issues I'm having. Now look, yeah, my timer's going down now. And I don't know what anybody's done. Uh, this is quite annoying. Maybe we can get lucky and top deck a double colorless. If we do, I can uh, take a knockout on the combi again. Um, or maybe we can just continue hammering the Xerneas. Okay, resume. He gets Ace Trainer and a Fairy Garden, and he Ace Trainers me. All right. We do top deck. The double colorless, but man, that was uh, kind of annoying. All right, we're just going to Quaking Punch because my time is going really slow. Hopefully, we'll be able to knock out this Xerneas, uh, but I have a feeling he's going to try again to get a... With the Fairy Garden in play, all he needs is one energy here. 
And if he gets it, then he can use Whimsicott's attack again, which I have to admit, this deck is pretty interesting. Uh, it's a little annoying, but it's interesting. Okay, so he's going to hit us for 100. All right. All right. We get another double colorless here. And uh, I don't know that I want to even birch because we're getting so low on cards. We only have nine left. Uh, so I'm just going to Quaking Punch here and keep item locking. Uh, he can, I guess he can retreat, um, absorb some more damage from Xerneas or something. It's a pretty interesting strategy, I must say that. But he has had to use a lot of energy up to be able to do that, so... And it looks like we're going to get into that stuck mode again, which means another 30 to 40 seconds of my time is going to come off. Oh, he does retreat. Okay. And he passes the turn to me. All right, we're just going to Quaking Punch here. It'd be really neat if I could top deck a VS Seeker. He passes the turn again. Hmm. And still nothing. Um, we're going to Quaking Punch. I know it seems he, he can probably just have an, he may have an energy just waiting and then he's going to come back and take a knockout. Uh, but he doesn't. So we're just going to Quaking Punch again, knocking out the Xerneas. Alrighty. Brings the Vespaquin up. Does he have double colorless to take out? our toad here plays another cottony down oh my goodness and he can um, can okay and he retreats into the cottony that's interesting okay um, Okay, I'm not worried about decking out because I've got the birch. So we'll just Quaking Punch here and see what else he has. Okay, he gets another Cottony. All right, and we get the Double Dragon. Uh, I'm not going to play it though. Quaking Punch. Taking another knockout. And what is left? He's only got two cards left. Does he draw into an energy is the question though. And he doesn't. And that's game. We're going to Lysander up this Whimsicott, and we'll Quaking Punch for the knockout and the victory. And it was a little tense there. Uh, it was a very unique deck, uh, but um, we handled it pretty easily. I felt like that if he would have attached energies to, to Xerneas and Rainbow Speared my Giratina, that that might have changed things. And I will say he did a pretty good job of using Whimsicott, uh, but... In the end, it, it wasn't good enough. And uh, anyway, we went 16 turns, guys. And so we we intimidated the opponent in the first two rounds. And then we had a pretty interesting matchup in the third round, uh, the final round. So pretty good. And I don't think I'm going to get anything special. Or maybe I do. I think I used four tournament tickets. So, yeah, I did get some. got a Roaring Skies pack and two of the... Um, ancient origins so why don't we just go over and open them up and uh, see what we get oh uh, let's see oh yeah under collection here so thanks for hanging with me even though the first two matches were weren't all that great uh, this the second ones were pretty good okay so we got two of the ancient origins let's open them up maybe we can draw into um, I don't know, maybe 
another hoopa or something like that. All right, and we get oh, we get Metagross. All right, and let's do another one. And what's the we got a Gudra and a Regia Regice. Good. All right. And then we also had a Roaring Skies. Maybe we can pick up a Shaman. That would be really nice. All right. Let's see what we got. And we get an Articuno Ancient Trait, which is not a bad card, but I'm sure I have plenty of those already. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out around with me. Hit like, subscribe. Uh, tell me what you thought of these matches. Uh, I tell you, Seismitoad does intimidate. So, uh, anyway, talk to you later. Bye.